Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing Diaries of Death uh, with our good friend Hermesius Permadeath Run where we're trying to cleanse uh, the world of Skyrim from the evil undead scum with the target of eventually killing Puthemia uh, and then preventing her resurrection but we're not quite there yet. Uh, for those of you who uh, have forgotten about how Diaries of Death works. Uh, one dead and uh, or one death and the character is essentially gone. I'm trying to run a few character builds through so-called tier one quests, things that you can do uh, reasonably in between level one and twenty-ish, give and take. Uh, those who survive uh, will be voted upon, and we maybe see them return in tier two and maybe even tier three quests anyways as since uh, we got a few nice items out of uh, the master treasure chest uh, that uh, we have opened one being a steel plate helmet that increases magicka so i changed our reinforced chitin, uh, chitin armor uh, chitin armor against that chitin armor has the is much lighter and has the additional property to reduce ranged weapons uh, but steel, on the other hand, albeit a bit uh, more uh, heavy, has the ability to reduce slashing damage. So that isn't bad either. I got myself a new uh, war axe from the Dawn Guard. Uh, got Bouncer as well back, but uh, I left it away to, to save some carry weight for now. We got a few minor potions and I think I forgot something. What did I forget? Oh yeah, we got a great ar uh, amulet, uh, mm, a necklace of peerless knight, which brings our total armor to almost 900. So with that, let's get a couple of uh, things out of the way. I wanted to show the buffing routine so that you are aware we're having this is healing, then detect life and our uh, regular, our regular uh, light source uh, there. I think we're going this time with, again, stamina regeneration. We don't need carry weight, we'll get the carry weight a bit later. And that's really the buffs that we do have for now. Together with the axe we should be fine. Uh, we have a few uh, potions here. Oh yeah, I found, uh, found those, so might as well use 40 for stamina. Um, we've, we had a couple of uh, poisons, but they are really not helpful for now. So, off we go into the barrow. Alright, time to get going. We're not really taking a lot of damage from the arrows. For now, this here is actually pref preferential for us. Once we have a few more down, we can move in. And just like that, two are down. This guy here looks like a shouter. Damn right, he is one. Okay, very good. 
Our armor is high enough to withstand some of their blows. I don't want to deal with bone meal though. One down. Two down. Three down. Four, five, and I think that's pretty much it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. And we're full. Good, another Draugr down. Reloot these guys. Okay. Oh, look at you coming in all fly. Well, they hurt. That definitely hurt. Okay, so far so good. Holy shit. Oh, I grossly overestimated how much I can tank without the shield. And that was a normal hit. can do that as well. Here you go. And I think you just killed yourself, buddy. Running into the trap wasn't that smart. really need anything cash some cash loot and we're good to go no 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 I know what how this is going and I came prepared my dudes Oh, 
All right. This is one of the more difficult fights. Remarkable and remarkable, please. Good. Well worth the investment. Good, that should solve our problem. Orcish Battle Axe is nice loot, but we're not uh, fighting two-handed. And this is one of uh, these scenarios. The first time that it hit me, oh boy, was I not ready for it. Yeah, we can't get to the other piece of armor yet, but we got one of the better rings in the game. Uh, which would be Asdal's Ring of Necromancy. Which I think easily should be better than anything that we had before. Contration spells, 12% cheaper to cast, irrelevant for our 60, uh, 60 points magicka, which is fantastic. Allows us to keep focus while running. 30 uh five percent less damage from uh absorbed spells and magicka regeneration like besides uh, the conjuration thing which does not matter too much for us it's just a net net absolute monster 260 points of uh magic uh, magicka now double cast and a single cast and almost another cast. That's fantastic. And look at the speed of the regeneration. That also seems very much in line with uh, what you would expect from, say, a more um, paladin slash regeneration type of character. Should have figured. Well, at least I'm going so this is We're becoming a major capital drain now. for us. I'll go we gotta so make up the money. We're down to a thousand three hundred plus two hundred fifty in ship passage. That will be expensive. Uh, that will be expensive, but the equipment is absolute fantastic. Okay, cool. Next up, uh, we have a few dungeons ahead of us, guys. So let's jump right into that. Good. Next stop, uh, we are at everybody's favorite dungeon, Bleak Fall Barrows, because it is a lot of experience uh, plus some good cash if we were to go for it. Not afraid uh, of the bandits here, really. Maybe I should be more afraid. So Alright, come on, bring it on, buddy.
Good, not the most convincing first kill, but we're doing fine. With a little bit more destruction magic, I could see how this character would have a nice diverse uh, set of options. At the moment, it is really up in your face and I'll tank you. But I still left Bouncer outside to have more carry weight. That is something that we certainly would need to look into as well in the future. Character has a surprisingly no amount of carry weight. the second strike oh you sneaky little thing yeah our general regeneration seems to be good enough to deal with uh, these minor bandits we got a silver sword here but the damage is not high enough doesn't really come close to our tried and true dawn guard uh, war axe Right off we go into the depth of uh, Bleak Fall Barrows. I can tell you what that was. Yeah, only arrows doesn't really help us. Not worth the loot. Let's continue. Little frostbite spiders. I distinctly remember fighting an entire dungeon of your kin. And running out of stamina oftentimes. But not here. This time we're better off. Well, those are some interesting spider whips, don't you think?
Oh yeah, the bite is still highly poisonous and uh, we're paralyzed. We didn't need another good ranged weapon. And whilst we're at it, uh, I think enhanced constitution on ourselves is not a bad idea. Because that deals with all of the poison damage. Alright, gotta let that poison run off. Still trying to be as useful as possible during that time. I must say, though, still surprising amounts of damage from the poison alone. I mean, just look how much damage it is dealing. I can't get hit like that. It's just overall too much damage. Now the vision one is gone, but we're still suffering from the stamina drain. Okay, slowly but surely we're getting our stamina back. We do have a potion of cleansing, if that is ever needed. But I should be shooting silver bolts. These here are much more efficient. And whilst we're at it, nothing like a poison crossbow. Still taking a fair amount of damage from the poison. And although this here is uh, slow and very hideous way of killing it, the other alternative of getting hit and then waiting out the poison is even slower. At the end of the day, it was the poison that killed it. How fitting. I don't understand. I mean, we do have a decent regeneration what are the negatives here oh, okay we're still taking stamina damage well that makes a lot more sense now 
Unfortunately, you can't just sleep that off. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Since we're out of combat, is there any food? Not really. Ah, sorry for the slowdown here. Aggravating poison. I hate it. On this part we will need some more stamina, but we at least do have ranged combat options. Poison's almost gone. You can see the last ticks. There we go, as it ticks off, you can see a noticeable ramp up in in our stamina. Okay, I'm okay with trading once in a while. The reason why I'm taking single hits and not power attacks is because those are still better in terms of stamina management. Not against these guys though. Here we have an opening for one hit, and that should be a power attack. Alright, let's get some Magicka back. Just double checking. All of these guys have already been awoken. Okay, that cost us around 50% of our stamina. Let's check the same with power attacks. On the next armor droger. It's unfortunately not an armor droger. You killed yourself, buddy. How unfortunate. Stole us some XP, but other than that, I'm not uh, too concerned about it. Okay, now. Trying power attacks. Costs us even more stamina. That guy was the exact equivalent uh, Draugr, armor Draugr. So yeah, from a stamina management, we are definitely better off.
we're definitely better off if we're just trying to uh, do normal slashes. down okay I don't want to deal with uh, that Ross Stroger. Wow, too bad, guys, that you walked right into the trap. Should know your own dungeon a bit better. Gotta consult the dungeon master there. And of course they started that stupid uh, thing again. I believe we should be fine with most of the stuff now. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Great. Nice little axe to the face. Can I ask you a question? We'll get the apprentice one a little bit later for now it's stamina regeneration time gosh I gotta fix that stamina regeneration issue for him I do have an idea and we can still go with that necklace for now Another scroll of fireball, that's cute, I like it. Yeah, it's a noticeable drop in armor. Okay, cool. And back into the dungeon. Uh, 
That was clean fight. I hate that uh, this always takes a while. You need to be like at full full in order to get that. We just opened ex uh, apprentice locks, so how is that not not working? <laughs> Are we not hitting the chest? All right, give me a second. Okay, finally, after a couple of tries. And then the loot wasn't even really good. Good first half of the dungeon. Let's get going with the second half, shall we? Tiny bit. Not the cleanest first room. Typically, I engage them and don't take that many hits. We can take uh, some, which is why I'm playing a bit more loose. Our main constraint at the moment is indeed uh, the stamina management. On the flip side, we do have all of uh, the lights still up uh, that we can use in order to pull Draugr's in here. This room is going to be fun. Play our cards right, we should be fine. Okay, three hits, not as good as a uh, full set of six or seven hits, but still decent. Careful here to not be over zealous. Yep, exactly that's why. It's easy to run into an outstretched power attack.
Okay, so far so good. That worked reasonably well. Let's regenerate a little bit. Get a nice kill animation. And funeral rite certainly comes in handy here. Almost full again. And I think we've killed five. Those swings, by the way, are still very much deadly. You don't want to walk into them. Solid combat, solid gameplay. I like how that turned out. Can take a few hits, which is good. Reduces uh, the margin of error. And besides the tiny problem uh, with the lack of stamina. We're actually doing reasonably well. Yep, that one was a calculated hit. Didn't block it because I knew if I was uh, would block it, it would lose too much stamina and we were almost out. So that's really the one main thing that we would need to work on stamina management with the build really solid damage with uh, those spells I like it Once the stamina is out, as you can see, we're hitting slower, running away is not really an option. Plus, we can be disarmed. Stupid frost. Good, luckily, the arrows are not, nothing more than a nuisance at this point.
could really do with some more mad, uh, stamina regeneration because then we could be all in uh, up in their face the entire time. Good, that worked. I'm wondering why these guys didn't have diluted essences. I think Draugr uh, Draugr's always have like one essence at least. But I might be wrong. Oh, they instead drop regulars. Okay, that makes sense. Gotta reapply our healing in a sec. Stupid me. Good time for a bit of a fight in the water. Something is so wrong with the textures. I've already tried to fix it in between sessions, but still remains to be a problem. Unless I want to disable the entirety of all of the new textures. I gotta live with it for now. Hey, good. That's nice. That is some decent loot. We can disenchant it. So, a couple of things. We want... Healing all on us. That and that, just in case he has the frost breath. Fortify health doesn't really do anything for us 
We're slightly overloaded now. Let's use this. So he can fully focus on the wolf. be safe then sorry the guy is not to be trifled with so let's increase our DPS with uh, flame atronach okay fantastic that worked out well Don't need that. Uh, save us, Dragonstone. Okay, I'll just bring that back. I don't want to start the quest, really. There's one more loot box over here. Two, actually. Nice. That's a good uh, that's a good ring. All right, let's wait that out real quick. Yeah, I guess. Okay, loot. Good, that was a bleak fall barrow in all of its glory. I think I'll turn in the stone and uh, the golden claw. Since this place here has been cleansed of the filth of undead. And uh, we will see each other right afterwards. Let me finish this real quick. Oh, hey there, haven't even seen you. Well, it's time for the end of uh, the episode. Turn in uh, the quest, got quite a few items and um, a few rewards, that is. And we do have lots and lots and lots to level up. So let's start uh, with the obvious choices. We wanted heavy armor to go further up. Let's level it all the way to 50. With the right perks, that will be a huge increase for us. I am thinking uh, that we could use some smithing as well, um, but we're heavily starved on perks, so might not be the best idea. We already have alchemy going. I'm. T oh yeah, we forgot alteration. That uh, that was it. Let's get alteration to 25 at least. Uh, since we do have a couple of greater points, let's continue restoration. Very costly now, but might be worth it in the long run. Okay, we still have a stamina problem, so I cannot ignore that. Which means a few points in stamina will go a long way. And a bit of health. Just to get more hit points. We have two levels. And I think our best bet in terms of solving that stamina issue is further heavy armor. This here would be good. It 
It's a perk, but it would solve our problems. The other option here is reduction for adept spells, which I think is a fair investment. So that's one option. The other one clearly would be a restoration adept spells. We could combine that. Just become a more skilled restor a restoration caster. More healing. All of those would not work yet. But um, generally speaking, I think that's a decent combination. Like going for for a heal uh, for the adept version here. It's a good start. And then increasing the heavy armor. Next time we can the next perk uh, we could invest into the stamina, which finally would uh, give us more ability to fight in melee. So. What do we need? Healing Hands 2 is fantastic. That's great. I think we're learning that for sure. Hemophraging Ward uh, was anti-bleed, if I'm not mistaken. Banish Daedra is good. Repel Undead isn't bad either. Purify Undead would be fine. That's just uh, letting them run away. I am wondering, not fighting Daedra's anytime soon, so that would be out. Uh, we don't have a huge problem with um, with bleed at the moment. We do have dispel potions, so we don't need that immediately. So it really boils down to arcane ward, rank three. Um, or alternatively purify undead. I think in the spirit of uh, this character, let's go with purify undead because he's an undead hunter at the end of the day. Might as well do exactly that. Second perk, combat trance. No hesitation there. I want that perk over here. And in the middle, the elemental resistances. Oh yeah, that's good as well. Plus toxin resistance. So we do have a few, actually a few defensive stats that we need to increase. And heavy armor is, is uh, the right uh, play for us. So in terms of spells, let's just go through them real quick. We do have... Let's uh, hotkey that as well because we could use it. We do have heal three. How much is uh, that healing for? 37, that's not fantastic, but it is definitely better than heal rank 1. Purify Undead. That should reduce the threat on some of uh, the Undeads. Okay, so... Purify Undead, uh, Heal Self, and Enhanced Constitution on Self. I would say we're putting that here together with the Healing Aura. I tend to have kind of these buff groups. Well, I can just have both uh, spells together. Got another. I got another one here. 
Okay, very good. That's the end of today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, the dungeon raids. It was certainly a pleasure. Uh, next time we will uh, continue with that because it's great XP at the moment and uh, there might be one uh, that would give us a weapon, a slight weapon upgrade. I still need a few more levels to get resists going. At the moment we're still below that 20% mark. Want to get more uh, towards say the 40-50% mark so that spells are actually not hurting that much. Uh, elemental resistances would definitely be great as well so there's a bit more uh, to be done but we still have time. Uh, we might start the Potella quest which is the, the Wolf Queen um, so that definitely is an option and I'll look into that. If you want to prevent the resurrection of Potella, the goddess of uh, the dead, then now is the right time to click a like because elsewise Hermetheus is not getting up his lazy ass in the next episode. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.